There's no place in the United States like the Indiana War Memorial. It came about because of World War I, and this was a time that was very important in our country because it was known as the Great War. It was even known as the war to end all wars. There were 10 million military people that were killed. There were 7 million civilians that were killed. And you had 135,000 Hoosiers who served in this war and 3,300 who died. And so they had a special session of the Indiana legislature in 1920. They wanted to honor these folks that uh, had served and some who had given their lives for the last war. And so what came of that was the fact that they decided that they wanted to build something and they put aside $2.2 million at a time when a gallon of milk cost a nickel and they had some land that they wanted to dedicate to this project. The Indiana War Memorial has some amazing architecture that goes along with it. It is the most noticeable building in the state because there's not a lot of roofs anymore that have ziggurats or pyramidal roofs. It goes back to one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, Helicarnassus, which was the tomb of King Mausolus. The roof of this building is designed after a ziggurat, which is a stepped ceiling. And those types of roofs work great in ancient Turkey. But in Midwestern Indiana, with the snow, the rain, freezing, thawing, uh, they don't hold up so well. We're needing WJE to come in and address the issues that we've been seeing with water coming in, uh, plaster starting to fall from the ceilings. When the state called us about this project, um, it, it was one of those moments uh, that I've had in my career where um, you, you, you're, you're trying to stay calm on the phone, um, but inside you're just, you're just so excited because you know that this is a great opportunity to display our talents and our skills, but also a great opportunity to have an impact in your community. The state of Indiana hired WJE because we have a unique set of skills and talents that can help us uh, investigate the problem and, and the causes of the water leakage. We used our difficult access team and that's what kind of set us apart as a consultant to be able to get to the top, to get to where the problem is so that we could understand what the cause is and develop long lasting solutions to address the water leakage. WJE's expertise in waterproofing and facade repair and historic preservation really just brought WJE to the top of the list as far as the consultant to use on a project such as this Indiana War Memorial project. So this project actually included the use of four offices, the Atlanta office, the Denver office, the Detroit office, as well as the Chicago office. And it took a team of professionals that had different skills and different talents to really tackle this project because the ziggurat level is basically a stair step. And the question is, is that a roof or is that a wall? And so we had to bring in roof experts and we had to bring in wall experts to tackle the water leakage problems there. On a building like the Indiana War Memorial that is so significant and so important to the state of Indiana and to veterans, we wanted to make sure that the design that we were coming up with was was historically sensitive, um, long lasting, and durable for many years to come. The scope of the repairs includes removing and replacing damaged limestone, repairing if we can, but also adding new waterproofing behind the limestone and a new lead coated copper flashing or coping on top of the limestone. We are also replacing roof areas at the lower levels that had never been replaced in our original to the building, which have failed. We're also addressing other limestone distress at the lower levels of the roof. The process takes about two weeks per step when you get down to the bottom. Um, it takes you know a solid week to get the stone off you know each level, and then a couple days to parge it, and a couple days to uh, put the gray salter on there. So it's quite a long process, and then we got to get the stone back up. You know, it's uh, it's quite a long process. So one of the aspects of the repair of this project at the Indiana War Memorial was actually replacing the lead sheet metal that was existing that was original to the, the ziggurat level here and, and putting in a new lead coated copper sheet metal. The reason we switched from lead to lead coated copper 
is because that the original lead sheet metal was actually fractured in many locations due to thermal expansion and contraction over time. And so those fractures were actually contributing to the water leakage that we were seeing on the interior. The conservation work that is being done by WJE is an extension of the work that was done when they were first building this in 1930. They did the best they could with the best processes, the best materials, and they wanted this to last forever, to do justice to the memory of those that served in the Great War. And WJE is using the best processes, the best materials that they have available to them to make sure that the vision that was made in 1930 continues today. So on the lower water table that I'm standing on currently, um, we uncovered on just on this side 13 different stones that need to be replaced that we were not counting on. So you uncover an old building, almost a hundred year old building, you're gonna find broken stuff. Well, when you look at a building that is the age of this building, there are surprises. And now is the time to fix them and fix them right. And I think the, the collaborative effort between the state of Indiana and WJE worked out tremendously. It's critical to have a, a, trust, a trusting relationship with your client where they can trust your opinion, trust that what you're telling them is the truth and is a valuable recommendation. I think one of the things that was very important to us was the fact that we picked up right away about the seriousness of WJE. Uh, they were going to do it right. Uh, they listened to us. They made sure that they worked within the parameters. They were a great partner. They are a great partner. It's exciting to see that it's all coming together, that the team that we had really came up with the right solutions for the, the challenges that the War Memorial was, was facing. To know that this building is gonna stand for another 90 to 100 years is a relief, uh, knowing that the future generations will be able to enjoy it just as we have for the past 100 years. You know, my personal feelings was I am a veteran, so it actually, you know, it hits home. It's a, it's a fun job to be on, it's a good job to be on, and obviously it uh, means a lot to me to be repairing a building like this. I spent 37 years in the Air Force. I've had great jobs, and I gotta tell you that there's no better satisfaction than to take care of this building, and the goal is to leave it better than I found it, and I'm sure that with the team that we have, we'll be easy to say that. These monuments are here to tell those stories about people who served and gave their lives so we can be free.